So Farmers Business Network is a subscription-based service. We absolutely do not believe in per acre fees or costs to our members. We don't really care what size you are as it doesn't cost us anymore to run anything in regards to maps or acres or process an order. So FBN is a flat rate, $600 per year. And the great news is through this partnership with Michigan Farm Bureau, we actually are able to offer a discount, an additional discount on FBN services to Michigan Farm Bureau members. Farmers Business Network is really doing anything we can to create more leverage for farmers in the industry. We're aggregating farmers. Um, traditionally, farmers are very fragmented and they're a smaller business doing deals and negotiations with businesses that are you know, billions and billions of dollars in size. And so FBN is really bringing and creating a place for farmers to come together and share agronomic analytics um, and in a completely independent and unbiased way and also tools like pricing for seed and chemical that then allows them to analyze and look at their costs and their inputs to see if they're purchasing fairly um, as, as one aspect of that. And they can use our price transparency tools to then go and negotiate better inputs with their suppliers, which is a big part of FBN. And then uh, from there, we've created a, a tool where we actually offer farm direct shipping on chemical and farmers can purchase through FBN and we'll ship it straight to the farm forum. And, um, I always tell guys, you know, it's just a way to offer more competition for your business instead of you having to go out and, and find prices and negotiate with suppliers. Everybody knows it's been depressed commodity prices for years and years now, and farmers are trying to find new ways to, to increase savings and lower costs while maintaining current performance metrics. Um, and on the data analytics side, it's FBN, there's a lot of companies that offer, you know, just the mapping or uh, a few of those kinds of tools. The aggregated data set within FBN actually comes from our farmer members. So we're out collecting information, whether it's off of their planter monitors, their combines, sprayer application data, um, soil fertility, a lot of different factors that we're able to bring into FBN and they can work with their local field rep to collect that if it's a process they're not familiar with. But honestly, we try to make it as simple as possible and easy to use for farmers. Um, and so that comes from the farmers and there's a really good record keeping aspect of that. They can post calibrate with an FBN, they can add scale tickets and that all gets pulled in um, for yield analytics, you can search it by soil type and crop rotation and row spacing to really start to look at different varieties and, and other things that might be good for your farm to try. The idea of farm data and big data is obviously a very valid concern for many farmers as it's a hot topic. It's a new idea in ag, even though data tracking and sharing information has been used in multiple industries to help both the consumer and the companies that are trying to succeed, right? So FBN has actually started with a group of farmers sharing data on a local level with their agronomist independently. And that's why we kind of stay true to that. It was started by farmers for farmers. Our motto is literally farmers first. Um, and so I think truly when farmers get to see the vision of FBN and what we're trying to do, they understand they can contribute to the aggregated data set, but it's anonymous. It, there's no way to tie it to a specific farm. Um, and actually we have data sufficiency requirements that say a piece of information won't show up for a given variety, for example, until it comes from multiple farms um, to protect and really protect our, our grower and member identity. So that is a big part of it.